Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode number 56 of season 5. As we speak, um, episode number... Crap, I said this is episode 55, this is episode 56. Uh, is it? Yes, this is episode 56. As we speak, um, I am uploading episode 55, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and as you can see on the screen, I have just completed a Money in the Bank game. Which means we have now completed the quest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the quest reward. We're gonna get into the quest rewards. Um, we'll start off with the five picks. Already claimed the first little little set of credits. So five credits from that. Um, Cataclysm enhancement, right there. And um, this, I've seen so many people get lucky from this, but I've also seen a couple of people get two Cataclysm Enhancements, so, you know, give me something good, right? Please. Please. trolls the trolls all right it is what it is it's sh really bad <laughs> it's really 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 bad okay um what else do i have i've got a 35 fusion to quickly claim nothing too interesting new catalog no billy k pro interesting do i pro do i pro or nah i think i pro I think I'm gonna go and pro that. Definitely. Obviously not gonna pro last all of them, but uh, definitely gonna pro this. 100%. And it's an arrow. Yeah, we're gonna pro it. Definitely gonna pro that. 100%. Sick. Um, that's cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I need to pro that now for sure. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, this is so tempting to open, guys, but it's just it's just not gonna happen. I am gonna stick to my word. No packs. Um, only spending on title matches, double picks, that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. I haven't made a big dent into it. So, let's get a couple of games of Ring Domination down while I briefly talk about um, what I've caught up on Raw and SmackDown. Um, Raw was the best Raw I've witnessed in, in, in a long time. Um, I'd give it a solid, like, four and a half, five out of ten. Um, which is a massive... Uh, upgrade to what I've seen in the last couple of weeks, couple of months, so that's okay. Um, Smackdown was absolutely garbage, um, very, very bad. In my opinion, Smackdown was bloody dreadful. Um, really nothing to nothing to build the stomping grounds more, really. Um, it ended very anticlimactically as well. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not looking forward to Stomping Ground, like, in the slightest. Obviously, I look I looked forward to WrestleMania, because it's WrestleMania. Um, Money in the Bank, one of my favourite, like, WWE gimmick pay-per-views they put on each year. Um, genuinely, you know, like, it, it's definitely one of my favourite with the Royal Rumble. Um, I, I'm quite a big fan of Elimination Chamber as well. And WrestleMania, I'd say, like, Chamber... I'd say Chamber... Mania, Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble. Um, I'd I'd probably do that. Maybe SummerSlam fifth or something, um, with like a Survivor Series or something after that. Maybe I don't know. Some something like that. Maybe Survivor Series ahead of SummerSlam. But that's not the point. Um, the point is I've been looking forward to obviously the last couple of pay per views, but I am really not looking forward to this one. It's just. Pretty much the most of the card are rematches from um, Greater Super the uh, Greater whatever it was called Greater Showdown Super Showdown of course Super Showdown um, and I, it just doesn't interest me. There are apart from maybe Joe Ricochet, which just because it's Joe and Ricochet that interests me. There's not really much else that, that, that's got any of in, any in, any interest to, to be honest at all. So yeah, it's not. It's not really a big deal. I didn't really particularly like, like, 
SmackDown for me was terrible. Raw was watchable. It was definitely watchable. There was a nice little narrative throughout the episode, um, or throughout throughout the three hours. Um, there were obviously, again, it's just booking decisions I don't agree with. But Fire for Firefly Funhouse was good. Um, if we move on to SmackDown as well, uh, or was it on Raw? I can't even remember which which one it was on. But obviously, our Truth lost the um, 24/7 championship uh, to Drake Maverick, which yeah, I love our Truth, and I'm glad you know I'm glad he had a nice little run with it. Um, but yeah, I, Drake Maverick, I, I'm a big fan of Drake Maverick too, so I'm not I'm not angry at all that he won it. Um, hopefully, it's not the end for our Truth on TV. Hopefully, we still get to see him on TV because he's great. He's funny. He's good. Uh, one of the very few people that you know can actually make you laugh without you going like oh my god This is cringy or oh my god. They're just catering to ten-year-olds um, So yeah, Raw and Smackdown. That's pretty much my two cents on it Nothing nothing major in either of them nothing spectacular. Um, I think Seth Rollins probably I would have to say um, MVP of, uh, of of the two nights. I think he. I, I liked what he had to do. What what he ran with storyline wise. I think that was pretty good. Um, hopefully, hopefully we see a good match between Seth and Baron Corbin because Baron Corbin's a great heel. But can he put on good matches? Well, hopefully he can. If any, if he can against anyone, well, it's going to be like Seth Rollins or AJ. So Seth Rollins hopefully can get a good match out of Corbin. I'll play like another game and um, let's uh, let's talk about what I want to do with um, with Supercard at the moment because it's it's always going to come down to this now like heroics do I not go for it feeling like a bit uh, I've missed out if I don't go for the heroic the heroic um, cataclysm is Zack Ryder right it's Zack Ryder it's not it's not someone that's like you know oh my god oh, it's a very good card to get but it is obviously a cataclysm card but more importantly I like the uh, heroic design so if I do end up pushing for heroic taker from the ID it would literally just be purely for the fact that you know I can get half heroic have the design of the heroic and all of that and obviously have a slightly better taker but if I don't do it I don't do it uh, we'll get obviously Flash Morgan Webster from the solo, and I'd be I'll be content with that to be honest. Obviously, as long as I get Taker as a pro, I am uh, I am more than content. Um, heroics are definitely going to be secondary to me. They're not going to be priorities whatsoever. I'd be interested to know what you guys think about it. Are you guys going for heroics in this tier or not? Are you just taking it chill? I know a lot of people that I talk to personally are also doing what I'm doing, just not really going ham this tier. Not going to spend fortunes, not going to go for every heroic, fully heroic, not going to go for top 100 in LMS, crazy stuff like that where you have to spend an absolute fortune. So, yeah, um, I'd be I'd be uh, interested to see what you, what you guys are planning. Obviously, for some people who watch my videos, um, it doesn't really change anything for you because you just grind at your own pace and you're not really spending it in this game anyway and you're not top tier. But um, for people who are top tier, let me know. Are you guys going for those heroics? Are you not? Are you going for the half heroics and RD? Um, you know, stuff like that. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe some of you out there are for the first time ever going to start going for heroics. Um, if that is the case, good luck, guys. <laughs> I, I wish you luck. I do wish you luck. Um, so my video is uploaded, 6 Cataclysm Platinum Packs, episode 55, and Quest Rewards. Um, let me, if we, let's go into the video, and I'll, I'll shout out the first comment we get on the video. If I, if I get a first comment while I'm recording, who knows? You have comments awaiting review, ooh. Let's do, oh, they're all right arrows, aren't they? So we're just gonna have to go with it, come on, go over here in the corner, god damn it, we lost, we, we lost. Um, Mr. King, love the video. Thank you very much, man. There's your, there's a shout out for being the first comment on my video. Not sure why I had to review the comment. Didn't seem like there was anything wrong with it, but yeah. All right, guys, let's. Oh, we lost. So only, only four picks here on the first one. Oh, Zelina Vega. I, oh, it's not Zelina Vega. I need is it? I, I can't remember which gothic female I need, but there's a gothic female I need. Hey, it could, it, it could be Zelina Vega, but I highly doubt it. I will, I will check. I'm 
curious. I don't think it is. No, it's not. It's Ruby Riot and it's Billy Kay. Ruby and Billy and Lars Sullivan are the ones I still need. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Battleground prep phase. Got another nine hours for that. Um, obviously, we're going to keep grinding for the Taker event card. I need to go and put a... Let's do that on video, just so I remember to, because I know I'll forget to if I don't. And I'll wake up tomorrow and it still won't be done. Um, we'll go on Shattered. Let's go with... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go with you. Still got a bunch of these to do, so that's why I'm going to pro Billy K. I am definitely going to pro Billy K. Some people will be like, oh, don't, it's not worth, but I'm going to because I still need two females, um, 35, and it's better than any one regular tier, so it's definitely going to be worth it for me. Um, obviously, for some people, it might not be worth it, so it all depends on what you guys need. Don't, um, sometimes it's not worth doing it, sometimes it is worth doing it though, and in this case, it is definitely worth me doing. Uh, let's go with the Miz there, just so I know, I already know I've 100% proed him, and we are good there. Brilliant, so that's another 35 done, 5 days, 11 hours. Again, I won't spend credits on doing two at the same time until maybe they release the Cataclysm ones, um, but for the time being, it's really not worth it, I don't need to. I'll get as many 35s done as I can, and then I've got a bunch of uh, a couple fusions just spread around in in the, in the lower tiers. I won't ha I won't have to start from the very beginning. I got a bunch to start to get done in in the in the lower tiers. So I've got a bunch of fusion food to do. There's no problem revolving uh, that regarding that. Um, just get rid of that so it doesn't pop up on my thing. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's end this video off with a riveting free pack. Um, gonna tell the video pack opening 100% just kidding uh, but yeah two credits and we get Dana Brooke nothing important cool thank you so much for um, watching this I'm just trying to think in my head if uh, if this is all I'm doing for the episode or if there's gonna be more to it I believe I believe I should uh, I believe that there will be more to this video but what I've done my quest reward did some RD is there anything else? I will probably be uploading this video Friday or Saturday. So it depends, guys. Once again, I'm not too sure whether there'll be more after this or not. But if there is, stay tuned. And if there isn't, thank you for watching. Take care. Subscribe, like, comment. And I'll see you soon. Peace.